Hey everybody, how you doing? Thanks for joining me today. Super excited to be talking about retargeting on today's session. Let me just get a couple things set up. If you could, in, in the comments, questions, chat box, just put in, um, hey Josh, or something like that. That way I can confirm my, my audio is coming through loud and clear. Starting just a second here. We got a great group. We got Donnie. We got Greg. We got Jeff. We've got John. We've got Ken. We've got Sharon. What's up, everybody? Um, I hope my audio is working. So if you could just in the in the box put in. Sound. Okay, Greg. Thanks for throwing me a bone. Greg says uh, you can hear me. So good. Audio is working. Let me just get my tab set up, and we will we will get this party started. So while I, while I get these tabs up, we're going to start in just a second. Uh, in the comments, just kind of tell me what part of the country you're visiting us from. I see Jeff Hebers here from, from the Cincinnati area. Jeff, what's up? Thanks for joining us. Still not here. Almost ready. Sharon's from Virginia, Greg's from Western Wisconsin, John's from upstate New York. Okay, good. So a little bit of uh, diversity in terms of where people are visiting us from. Very, very good. So now I think I got my recording set up correct. Good. Press a couple buttons and we'll get started. All right, well, good afternoon, good Monday. Don't usually do these webinars on Monday, but I'm excited to be leveraging Monday to to come to you with an idea that I think can really help you generate more leads, better opportunities, and really convert all of your online marketing and offline marketing at a higher level, and that's the, the power of retargeting. So for those of you that are joining us in the, in the Facebook Engage community, our clients, we appreciate your business. We're really excited to have you with us here today. And um, let, me, let me share my screen and we will, we will kick this So just by, just by a way of polling the group, I'd love to know how many of you guys are familiar with the concept of retargeting and have you know, heard of it before and are familiar with what it is and how it works? Um, and how many of you would say, no, this is kind of like I've heard of it before, uh, but it's new to me. It's not something I'm really familiar with or that I, that I understand exactly how it all, how it all works. So just put that, put that in the comments box so I'll get a sense of where, where you guys are coming from. So, so really, retargeting is, is the ability, it's, it's, it's a marketing mechanism that lets us remain top of mind with our customers that get to our website. I kind of drill down on what it is, how it works, and more importantly, uh, how to leverage it in your plumbing or HVAC business to, to get even better results. Now, this, this whole concept of retargeting is, uh, is part of our, our digital dominance method, which is really the things you could and should be doing to truly maximize the lead flow in your plumbing or HVAC business. And uh, we've been doing sessions on this all throughout the year uh, from how to set up your website right over here on number one on this, on this circle, how to set up your website and make sure that it's optimized to show up uh, in the organic listings, make sure that it's optimized to convert visitors to callers at the highest level, uh, and then leveraging paid search like pay-per-click advertising and Google local service ads and um, being advertising to get more traffic to that website. Um, and then really, I feel like number three on the digital dominance method, like in, in, in order of importance, really is leveraging retargeting. Because if you're spending any amount of money um, online and offline, whether you're doing radio ads, TV ads, pay-per-click advertising, search engine optimization, you're investing money to get people to, to your website, right? And what retargeting does is it amplifies the conversion rate because we know not everybody that gets to our website takes action, right? Not everybody does what we want them to do, which is to pick up the phone and dial our office to schedule an appointment. Not everyone fills out a web submission. So with retargeting, we can stock them 
uh, across the internet while they're on Facebook, while they're on ESPN, while they're on whatever sites it is where they happen to be hanging out, we can get our advertisement in the form of social posts and in the form of uh, banner ads to, re to, to be showing up in their feed strategically when we know that they're in the buying zone. And so that's what we're drilling down on today, this whole concept of retargeting, how, how to do it, how to do it well and how to leverage it to generate better results from all of the marketing that you're doing. So quick, quick snapshot, I've got a visual that will help kind of tie this all together for us. Um, you know, first thing that happens is somebody gets to your website, right? Either they, they run a search for, you know, plumber in my area, AC contractor in my area, uh, or they go directly to our website, right? They hear a radio ad, uh, they see a billboard, they see a truck pass and they're like, okay, I need a, I need a plumber or HVAC company. I know this brand and they wind up one way or another on your website. Um, what we know is only about five to 10% of visitors usually take action, right? Um, you know, in a lot of our cases, we're seeing that, you know, with, with proper optimization, get into the 20 and 25% range. But statistically, if you look at, at the average of all plumbing and HVAC websites across the internet, it's somewhere between five and 10%. So that means almost 90% of the people that get to your website don't take action, right? We know that they're in your service area. We know that they were looking for plumbing or HVAC related services. Otherwise they would not have gotten to your website. Um, so really the question becomes, what can we do to get that 90% to take action? What can we do to, to remain top of mind with the other 90% of our visitors while they're, while they're in the buying mode? Um, and the other critical part of this is we know that more than, they're more than 70% more likely to call you if we can get, to, get them to your website a second time, right? So if we can get them back, we have a much higher probability of getting the call, getting the lead, and converting it into to revenue dollars. And that's really where retargeting comes in. That's why retargeting is such a powerful play and something that I'm gonna advocate all of you guys tap into if you're spending any kind of money on internet marketing and offline advertising. Again, because we know they're gonna wind up at our website, right? We know that that's gonna be their, their final point of, of traction where they either pick up the phone and call or submit the form so we want to really emphasize the conversion rate. And again, what retargeting is, it's just a marketing approach to capture your website visitors and market to them across the web after they leave the website. So again, that potential customer gets to the website, however it is that they got there, and we know 90% of them left and didn't take action. What we can do is drop a pixel on their browser. And you know, with smart pixel technology from Google AdWords, from Facebook, uh, Facebook marketing, and from a lot of different resources, um, we can actually tr track them, whether they got to it from their desktop, from their mobile phone, um, you know, from their tablet. We know that person, we, pick, we can pixel them at a very high rate and then strategically serve banner ads to them uh, as they're browsing the internet. So, that afternoon or a day later or a week later, they're on ESPN or whatever site they happen to frequent and they're seeing your ad, they're seeing your banner. And I know um, Jeff, who's on the call with us today, thanks for joining us, Jeff. Um, we've been running retargeting for him for several years and he sent me a picture one day or a, a screenshot from his, uh, from his phone that his daughter sent him. Like, why are you advertising to me, dad? And uh, she's like, how much money must you be spending in, uh, in digital billboard or online display ads. And, uh, and it was really just because she was on his website and it was very cost effective. It can be very cost effective to now show up on not just like one or two websites, but like literally thousands and thousands of websites have uh, display ad space available. And you wouldn't ever buy space on all of them independently, but by tapping into networks like the Google AdWords uh, display network and the Facebook uh, marketing network and or things like perfect audience, you can have access to almost all of these websites and serve your ads to your ideal customer right when they're in the buying mode for your services. And then of course, they see the ad, if the ad is compelling enough, they take the next action, they click on it, we get them back to the website. We know once we get them back to the website, they're 70% more likely to take action and 
we can convert the lead and we can convert that into a, a call, hopefully a scheduled visit and, and revenue for a plumbing and HVAC company, which ultimately drives the return on investment from all of our marketing uh, to a much higher level. So where, where are the best places to set retargeting up? If you're a client of ours, this is something that we do, something we've got very good at over the last several years. Um, we'll, we'll do this for you turnkey, right? We will set up the pixel, we'll set up the display network, we'll write, we'll create the ads, we'll test the ads, and we'll track it for you so you know, um, you know where your money's going, how, how many impressions you're getting, and what you're, what you're getting in terms of spend versus, um, uh, versus, versus result. So a couple of the, the really the best networks, um, you know, web retargeting with banner ads, um, Google AdWords, their display network. This is the number one network in a Google ad, Google AdWords and the whole Google AdWords community um, dominates this space at this point. There's things like AdRoll and there's other tools that, that Google has acquired. Uh, for plumbing and HVAC companies, we just like to plug right into the display network, right? Usually, we're already running pay-per-click at some level through Google AdWords. So it's just another step to add a pixel to the site and make sure that that's on the site site-wide. Set up a separate budget to target uh, people through Google AdWords and their AdWords network. And we can, we can really get a lot of eyeballs uh, from people that are already in the market for what you do. Uh, another service that we've used in the past that, that is great, it just kind of gives you another layer of, um, of access, uh, is Perfect Audience. Um, it's just if you were to want to say, hey, you know, I, I want to test some of this stuff on my own, go to Perfect Audience, set up an account, put the pixel on your website, set up your ads, configure your budget. Um, that's another one. And then, of course, when it comes to retargeting, you'd be remiss not to be also retargeting on, on Facebook, right? We know there are billions of, of users on, on Facebook at this point. The average user logs in between five to nine times per day. Um, and that's where people are hanging out. Most of the time on their phone, they're scrolling through, they're looking at pictures, they're connecting with friends. And I'm sure you guys have all experienced seeing um, advertisements that, that seem to really correlate with what you were looking for. Um, retargeting can be done uh, on Facebook. So we know they got to the website, we know that they were in the need for the service, and now we can specifically run sponsored ads to those folks. And um, we can also get pretty creative with it. If we're, we're doing remodeling, if we're doing indoor air quality, some of the higher transaction services, we can place specific pixels on the specific landing pages of the site. So let's just say they got to the remodeling page, right? They were looking for remodeling. That's a little higher transaction value. Maybe somebody on a longer buying cycle, we can set the pixel to say, okay, they got to this slug slash remodeling and now serve uh, display ads as well as Facebook uh, ads in their feed. Let's say, hey, if you're thinking about remodeling your home uh, or remodeling your bath, here's, here's a special offer and maybe some cool images. So some really creative things we can do. A lot of people don't realize that you can tap into advertising on Facebook to a retargeted audience. That's one thing to advertise on Facebook and just say, okay, I want to show up for all the homeowners in my area that are, you know, making $90,000 per year, I want to advertise to them. That's kind of like shooting in the dark. And it can be done, you can drill down on it, but it's a completely different story when you're running those ads to people that just came off your website uh, over the next 30 to 60 days. Uh, we find that that works really, really well. And it's something you should be tapping into. You know, budget for, for retargeting can, can range. It really depends upon how many people are getting to your website on a monthly basis. Obviously, you can spend more if, um, if you're getting 100, you know, if you're getting 10,000 visitors a month than if you're only getting 500 visitors a month. So, really depends, but the, 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 the important thing is the cost is, is relatively low because they're, they're, the cost per impression is not that expensive. Usually, you can get away with a budget between $150 and $500 in spend. So that's the actual money being spent on Google AdWords or being spent on perfect audience or being spent on uh, Facebook, Facebook advertising. You can really have great uptime for a majority of the, um, of the impressions, retargeted available impressions in your, in your area. So I, that's what I recommend, a budget somewhere between $150, 150 and as much as 500 
you know, that usually more than covers most plumbing and HVAC companies uh, that we've that we've worked with. Um, when it comes to when it comes to advertising, um, I don't want to get too technical on today's session, but you know you you've got to have an ad that's either a .gif or a .jpeg. Uh, it has to be less than 70 megabytes. Keep the file size small, and then the Google Display Network. The main size is are the ones I have up here in the top right hand corner. You want to have a variety of ads that way your ad can plug in to a variety of the spaces that these websites have available for for remnant advertising. So um, there's the leaderboard, which is a 728 by 90. There's the the standard banner, which is 468 by 60. Then you've got your billboard which is like 300 by 250, and then your, your, you know, your logo tile, which is just about the size of a logo, 140 by 90. So just make sure, um, you know, if you're gonna do this, whoever's handling the, the setup of it can make some nice ads for you, make sure they fit all of the variety of sizes. Um, if you're gonna be running an image ad in Facebook, it needs to be 600 by, by 315. Again, for our clients, we're, we'll do this for you, we'll come up with the creative, we'll test it, we'll measure it, but um, you know, this is just some of the technical specs on how the retargeting actually actually works. So, what types of ads, from a strategy perspective, work best when it comes to retargeting? Uh, well, first of all, you want to make sure you have consistency from your website to the ad, right? So, definitely make sure you get your logo in there. That way, they they connect the dots. I was just on the uh, I was just on the Nixco Plumbing website. And they've got the cool blue colors and a nice Nixco plumbing uh, logo. Now they're just browsing the internet and they start seeing Nixco plumbing. The consistency really helps, right? They see the logo. They remember I was on that website. Again, we just want to get them back to the website again so we can tap into that 70% increase in probability of them taking action by, by doing so. Um, you want to do something that makes your ads stand out off the page, right? When, when somebody's browsing through, let's just say, um, Zillow.com, which is a home buying site, there's the content they're there for. They're looking for houses or they're verifying the value of their home. Um, and then they, you know, they, if they see ads. But a lot of times if your ad doesn't stand out, it's just lost impression. When you're paying, you know, per thousand impressions when it comes to, to display advertising, so you want to try and make your, make a little bit of contrast in the color as well as contrast in the um, in the imagery that kind of draws their their, their attention, and um, ideally you want to try and have some type of special incentive to take action. Now, a lot of people don't like special offers incentives, and that's okay. But um, you know you can offer them, hey, still looking for a plumber? Get twenty five dollars off your next service, or um, you know, book today and save fifty dollars on your water heater installation. Um, those types of things give them some type of incentive to click that ad. And take take the next action. So a couple a couple visual examples, Jeff. I'm glad you're on with us today because we we've been running this ad for you for, for a while. Um, the the plunger face, and so this is Nixco Plumbing. I'll pull up their site that way you get a sense of. So this is what the site looks like when you're on it, and then you're browsing around the internet and you see this you know this kid with the plunger in his face, and uh, it kind of attracts attention and makes you look, and then uh, but it still matches the the branding and the color scheme. So, Jeff, this one's this one's for you. I know you forwarded this to me a couple of times. Like, what in the world is um is going on here? I'm pulling up Nixco. So you're on you're on Nixco, right? You're you're looking for a plumber. You're kind of browsing around the site. You think, okay, this looks like a professional organization. You get busy, right? Or something comes up, or you want to check in with your wife before you schedule a call. So you click off and now you're browsing around the internet and you see this ad. It, it draws your eye, it connects back to what you were looking for and, um, and it, tends to, it, tends to work, it tends to work pretty well. Um, I'm gonna give you another example. So this is uh, Paul the Plumber. So you're on his website, right? Kind of get the phone number, the information. Um, you know, these are the various sizes that you can display that work well. So, you know, logo, connect to the area that they're in, and then some type of offer, so $25 off for first time customer, right? We just want that person that got to the website from the advertising, from the SEO, from the pay-per-click, you know, to remember them and be drawn back in. Um, and this is more of a catch-all, right? They, they were 
on the site. We don't know if they were looking for drains. We don't know if they were looking for water heaters. But we know that they were looking for a plumber, right? So we want to offer them a twenty-five dollar incentive to go take the next step, right? So you're you're a trusted dairy New Hampshire plumber, right? Twenty-five dollars off. Um, so you know, just make sure that you've got creative to pull the people back into your website. And so cost-wise, just to kind of give you guys a, a sense of what the investment with this is, again, it's it's pretty cost-effective um, when it comes just to the spend part. You're usually going to spend a little bit in management whether it's with a company like ours uh, or with somebody else, to set it up for you to manage it and keep it, to keep it running efficiently. But um, in their case, you can see there was a, over the last 30 days a $145 spend. Um, but for that $145 spend, they had 311,000 impressions. So just imagine for $145 getting back in front of 311,000 potential customers. Um, that's going to generate that's going to generate some awareness. That's going to generate some improved conversion. And um, it's going to generate more calls from all of the advertising that they do. And they, they've got a pretty aggressive pay-per-click budget that they spend. They've got a pretty solid SEO strategy that we've, we've been running for them. So they get lots of eyeballs. This just helps to maximize the conversion rate. So I'd love to check in with you guys. I've been talking, you know, a little bit longer than I usually do when it comes to this type of stuff. Would love to hear what your thoughts are. Any questions on this, how it works? Uh, maybe just some thoughts on the on the different creative uh, that I showed you. So Greg's saying he's familiar with uh, with retargeting, hasn't used it. So good. Hopefully this is kind of opening your eyes to to some opportunities here. Danya said we've talked about it with with Danya. Need to need to look learn more to, to see about implementing it. Okay, great, cool guys. Well, thanks thanks for interacting. You know, please this is live right now. So if you have follow up questions, post them. Post them in here. See, Victor's watching. What's up, Victor? Uh, let's see. Angela's on Facebook Live. She says, what's up? Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so Griggs asking, have you noticed certain ads that work better than others? Yes, yeah, so we're, we're always testing this. It's a great question. I'm really glad that you asked. And you know, usually we do find that uh, an ad with, with something that catches the attention, but something like this, it, it gets a, it gets a, a better click-through rate which obviously means you're getting more visits for your spend um, than you know, something that's more, that's more generic. Great question, thanks, thanks for asking that. So the next thing is I wanna show an example of Facebook remarketing, right? And so Facebook remarketing, again, is you're just, you're, you're tapping into the Facebook feed of people that have recently been on your website. And so, you know, in this example, I also want to show a, um, a service-specific example. So, this is Shuler Services. They're in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And, um, you know, they, they're full-service plumbing, drain cleaning, and remodeling. You know, one of the big things they're focused on this year is selling more kitchen and bathroom models. They've invested heavily in their showroom, and this is a big area of focus for them. So, when somebody gets to their remodeling page, and, they, again, they could have gotten to the page from any variety of, of ways. They might have gone to the showroom and taken a business card and went back to look at more examples. Uh, they might have clicked on it from organic search. Uh, either way, we, we know that they got the remodeling page, so we know that we want to kind of target them a little bit differently, right? We want to serve them uh, pictures. We want to serve them information about remodeling, not just, um, not just plumbing, because you know, they're not really in the market for a plumber, potentially, but they do want to remodel their home. And so we can show up in their feed. So this is my feed. Let's just say I was just scrolling through and I've got a picture of my cousin and a picture of my niece. Uh, but then I also see a picture of this nice bathroom remodel project. And I've got a message that's speaking to the remodeling services. So more than anything else, this is just a, a visual to kind of open your eyes to the possibilities. Um, you know, again, coming back to that, to that key concept or that key notion that, 90% of the people that get to your website that you spent money to get there didn't take action. And we can tap into this vast array of display advertising on Google AdWords and on the Facebook feed to get back in front of those customers that were looking for us to get more of them to take the next step, to pick up the phone, to call our office, and to schedule service. So quick takeaways. Again, this webinar is intended to really just be quick to the point, give you an idea of what retargeting is, how it works, how you can tap into it. So 
not nearly as long as, as most of my webinars, but the key takeaways, right? Set up retargeting, be good Google AdWords, potentially perfect audience and or Facebook remarketing. Um, invest somewhere between $150 in paid spend. You can get thousands and thousands and thousands of impressions, not from people randomly in cyberspace, but from the people that were on your website that are in your service area, that are probably in the mode of buying what it is that you have to offer. Um, and then get more of your prospects back to the website to take action. And we know that they're 70% more likely to, to call if we can get them back to the website the second time. And we can increase our conversion rates and really maximize the ROI of all of the marketing that we do. So that's retargeting. That's the, that's the scoop. Again, this should be part of your overall online marketing strategy. So you know, if you're not already doing SEO and pay-per-click, you may be jumping, the, jumping the, the car a little bit to throw retargeting at it. But if you're already spending money on SEO, on pay-per-click, doing any type of offline advertising, have trucks in the field, and you're getting, let's say, 500 plus visitors per month, um, it just makes sense to get the pixel on your website, put some budget into retargeting, and, and really remain top of mind with your existing customer base. Now, the other play for retargeting, which makes a lot of sense, is um, it's just customer nurture, right? So after somebody does business with you, you want to remain top of mind with them, right? You want to be, you want to be omnipresent, right? And we use social media advertising and social media posts and email marketing to remain top of mind with our existing customer base. We know that the, the cheapest customer to acquire is the customer that's already doing business with us. So the other thing you can do, especially as it relates to Facebook targeting, would be set up a custom audience with all of the customers that have visited your website and or take an email export to so take all of the customers that were in your database, so the names and email addresses, and import them into Facebook. And what Facebook will do is match all of those email addresses to existing Facebook IDs, and they'll help you create what they call a custom audience. So this custom audience is your existing customer base, and it just makes a lot of sense to be in their feed, to be in their, in their face on a consistent basis so that the next time they need something plumbing related or HVAC related, they think of you. So that if you're full service, which I know a lot of you are, and you do plumbing, but you also do HVAC and you also do remodeling, or you also do electrical, you can cross sell and cross pollinate. So they don't just think of you as the single provider, but as a holistic provider. And so we can create a custom audience, import it into Facebook, and then strategically rotate our social media advertising campaign and uh, not to everybody in cyberspace again, but just to our customers that we know have either done business with us or at least visited our website. And almost like we do with our newsletter, right? We send out, here's something interesting that's going on with our company. Here's the special offer of the month. And we want to rotate that from, let's say, drains to water heaters to heaters to remodeling. You do the same thing with your, your Facebook advertising. So now they're going through their feed and now they're seeing a little bit of information about a bathroom model that you did, or they're seeing a little bit of information about the um, the AC tune-up special that you ha have available. So a little bit different than the, the core topic of retargeting, but it's really Facebook marketing to retarget to your existing customer base. So that that's really the you know the the three step I find to be most powerful. You know, have a great website that's going to be built to convert, that's going to rank organically, where you're building authority on a consistent basis. Leverage paid search, Google advertising, um, Bing advertising, and pay-per-click to drive traffic to your website. Um, if Google local ads are available in your market, um, which they're really aggressively rolling out throughout the country, make sure that you're, you're in there and you're playing that game. Um, I know some of you have had great results with it. Cost per lead is lower. Um, quality is still good, unlike with the Home Advisor pay-per-lead program. Uh, some of you feel like they're more price buyers. Regardless of whether you like the leads or not, um, Google local service ads is eating away and eroding at the paid search traffic. So your spend will inevitably probably drop once local service ads come into your area. So you need to be paying attention to it. Um, if, if, you know, if you're not in Google local service ads already um, and it's available in your market, reach out to your account manager or reach out to us right away. Um, we will expedite that process for you. 
Um, if it's not in your market yet, you should get on the early waiting list. And there's a web form we can submit for you with all of your details to, to get you pre-registered so when they do roll out uh, local service ads in your area or LSA, um, you'll be, you'll be uh, alerted right away. Um, so that's, the, you know, that's paid search to me, Google AdWords and local service ads. Even though it's different than paying per click, you're paying per lead. Super important, like in the top two things you should be doing online. Um, and then the third is just making sure that you're leveraging retargeting to bring those existing customers or existing prospects back to the website and get them to convert at a higher level. So in a couple weeks, actually two weeks here, I'm gonna be going deep on local service ads. So that's the, the ads that are showing up above pay-per-click and where you pay-per-click and it's the Google Guarantee Program. Uh, make sure that you have that on your schedule, that you're, you're looking forward to it. Uh, I'm gonna be really going deep on what it is, how it works, where it's available, um, I'll be getting into the back end of the dashboard to show you uh, what the lead flow looks like and some tips and, tips and strategies on how to make sure that you fully fleshed out your LSA account to, to get the highest quality leads and to, to really make sure you're not leaving money on the table. So thanks for joining me on today's deep dive on Google uh, retargeting and retargeting in general. Um, if you'd like to talk with us about this, give us a call, reach out to your account manager, reach out to our, our sales team. We'd love to talk with you about your overall internet marketing strategy and specifically retargeting, helping you get it figured out, getting it rolled out, really maximizing that opportunity. So you can call us 866-610-4647 uh, or schedule the time by going to plumberseo.net slash schedule. Thank you guys for joining us on today's session. We'd be glad to hang out if there's any specific questions on this. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up here. And I look forward to talking with you again in just a couple of weeks when we talk about local service ads and how all of that works.